Hi everyone, my name is Rotem. In this video, I'm going to show you Atlas, an open source database schema management tool that we're building at Ariga. And I'm going to show you well um, how you can use it to manage your database schema. Let's start by installing it. We have a nice shell script you can use uh, to, to download with curl and, and execute on your machine. And well, Atlas is sometimes called by members of our community, sort of a Terraform for databases. And I wanna show you in this video and hopefully by the end of it, you understand why uh, it's called this way. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we're gonna use Docker. I'm going to use Docker Run to run a local MySQL database on our machine. And we're going to work against it as if it was our production database. OK, now this started running. The next step is to define our database schema. I'm going to do this in a few steps. OK, so uh, let's call our schema s.hcl. HCL stands for HashiCorp configuration language. It's the infrastructure for configuration languages that was created at HashiCorp, the company that built Terraform. And while well, you're starting to see some similarities between Terraform and Atlas. Okay, so we start by defining our database schema. This is the main database containing our, um, our table. And this schema, by the way, already exists from our a docker run command. We're just going to take the schema and uh, go over it. So you can see we define a users table that's defined to be placed inside the example schema. It has an ID column and a name column and the primary key is defined to be the ID column. Now if you've ever used Terraform this part is going to be feel similar to you and we're going to go atlas schema apply and we're going to give it the url to the database which is mysql and um, root it's located at localhost and let's see this now and i'm going to give it the file okay, the file defines the desired state of the database and i'm going to fire this command now, what happens now is that Atlas connects to the database, it inspects the local database schema, and then a diff, it creates a diff, a comparison between the desired state and creates a plan. The plan is basically a sequence of uh, statements that need to be executed to reconcile the difference between the desired state and the actual state of the database. And just because DDL statements or schema changes are dangerous, then Atlas verifies that we are sure that we want to execute this. Cool. This is run. And now our database schema fits the same a schema we defined in our schema file. Now let's add another table. Let's say we are building a blogging platform like WordPress or something like that. And once we have our users table, we want to add the blog post table. This is going to be a bit more complex, so let's go over it. Cool. So our blog post table also placed in the example schema. It has an ID column, a, a title column, a body column. You see each of them has a different type. This is text. The previous one was uh, varchar of 100. And here we have the author ID, which as you can guess, is a foreign key, meaning it references the uh, users table. And we also expect that we're going to do frequent searches by author, which is why we added a non-unique index on the author ID column. Now we can see what plan uh, Atlas is going to generate for our new schema. So as you can see, uh, Atlas planned a new create table statement to reconcile the difference between our desired schema and the physical schema, the, the actual schema of the database. Let's apply this. Now, what do you think will happen if we rerun Atlas with the same desired schema against the same uh, database? Let's see. 
When we run this, we see that Atlas is outputting a schema using no changes to be made. And this shows you the similarity between Terraform and Atlas, which is the declarative model. In the declarative model, which is very popular with uh, infrastructure software like Terraform or Kubernetes, what the user does is provide the system the desired state and you let the tool compute the plan, how to reconcile the difference between the desired and the actual state. And once that state is equal, no changes are to be made. Cool, so in this video, we showed uh, what we call in Atlas, the declarative migration workflow, in which you kind of in a Terraform-like way, define the desired state in HCL. You can do it in SQL as well, by the way. And you let uh, Atlas compute the plan at runtime, schema apply, and you approve the plan and then you run it. But for many teams, this is not gonna work. And they want more control and they want to code review every change and they want to use the more traditional version migration flow, which you get a migration directory with scripts, which you run uh, in sequence and you have each uh, schema migration as an actual revision. And we're going to show that flow, which Atlas supports as well in the next recording. So if you want to get that, um, why not subscribe to our channel? Thanks and goodbye.